Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Ruzbe. We are back again with another CSWA practice problem. Today we are working on question 1.8. Let's check it out and get us started. So in this question, as you can see, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. So like always, we're going to check this and make sure in SOLIDWORKS environment we are using correct unit of measurement. Now, looking at the geometry, we have a symmetric geometry, as you can see. We have the 3D model on the right side. You can see that we have the front view, we have the right view, and we have the top view. Looking at this geometry, my preference is to start with the front view. You can see this is the view that we have. Then, once we have this section, we can extrude it all the way to the back surface, and then we can kind of focus on these four pieces. So let's switch to SOLIDWORKS and start modeling this part. Okay, so as I explained, first I'm gonna check unit of measurement. Here we have millimeter gram second, so that's the correct unit of measurement. Very good. Now I'm planning to start with the front view. So let's click on the sketch, click on the sketch again, and choose front plane. Now here I need to make the geometry that I wanna extrude. So to do this, first I'm going to click on the line command and I'm going to draw a 2D sketch. Then I go up, then to the left, then here, 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 and here. Okay. Now we know that the geometry must be symmetric. So what I'm going to do, I click on the line command on the center line and then I'm gonna plot a center line here. The reason I'm plotting this line is that I wanna use this line as a reference. Now, since everything must be symmetric, we need to choose these lines and then apply the constraint that we want. So let's start doing that. First of all, I choose this line, hold control, choose this mirror line, still keep control, and then I choose this line and now from the options I have on the left side you can see that I have a symmetric option so I'm going to choose symmetric okay good now let's repeat this for other components as well I click on this line hold control click on the mirror line hold control click on the last line and then symmetric and finally this line hold control mirror line keep holding the control button and then this line and again I can choose symmetric okay so now I have a symmetric 2d sketch now I know that this line the bottom line should be 200 millimeters so I'm gonna click on the smart dimension from the menu and then I choose this line and I'm gonna choose 200 millimeter for the length of this line also, I know the height of this line should be 50 millimeters. So I'm going to click here and then I choose 50 millimeter for the height. And finally, the overall height, which is the height of this point, the highest point to the bottom line should be 125 millimeter. Okay, awesome. The last piece of information that I have from the front view is the angle between these two lines. As you can see in a question, these two lines are highlighted with a right angle, which means the angle between these two lines should be 90 degree. So, in order to apply this constraint, I click on a smart dimension, click on first line, choose the second line, and here I can define 90 degree for the angle between these two parts. Okay, so now we have fully defined geometry. So we are ready to use extruded boss feature and extrude this sketch. So let's do that. To do this, first click on approve. So now I have the geometry, then click on feature and choose extruded boss. And here, because geometry is symmetric, first of all, in a direction, I'm gonna choose meet plane to make sure that the extrusion is happening symmetrically. And I know that from top view, the overall depth of the geometry is 175 millimeters. So I'm gonna choose 
175 mm for the overall depth of the geometry and I click enter okay good so now I have the first piece in my geometry there are four other pieces small pieces that I need to add so let's focus on those parts in order to make those parts what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch the plane and I'm gonna focus on a different plane because those parts are on this side I'm gonna click on sketch click on the drop down menu here in a model tree and then I'm gonna choose right plane okay so now the right plane is active we can plot those four pieces or because we are looking from the right view we only need to plot two pieces basically so let's do that okay so here I'm gonna click on line command and for the line command this is a reference line that I have I'm gonna start from here go up go to right go down and here we shouldn't be going all the way to this line if you look at the right view you can see that there is a surface here which is kind of raised comparing to this surface so I'm gonna go up to here then I go right then I go up right here and here this is a this is what I see from the right view now we know that this geometry should be also symmetric so I'm gonna click on a line and from the drop-down menu I'm gonna choose center line and here I'm gonna plot a center line again this is a line that I'm gonna use as a reference for symmetric constraint what I'm gonna do same as the first step I click on this line hold control click on middle line and hold control and click on this line and I know that the relationship I want should be symmetric now repeat the process for the other lines I click on this line hold control marrow line and then this line symmetric so now I have a symmetric relationship that I want also this one this one and this one and again symmetric okay now all I need to do is adding dimension and then I'm good to go so let's add dimension for this geometry as you can see in the right view we know that the distance between this line and the bottom line should be 15 millimeters so I'm gonna add 15 millimeter here also the widths of each of these buses should be 15 millimeters so I'm gonna choose 15 millimeter here and because I have symmetric constraint when I change this one to 15 the right one is also changed to 15 and finally I know that the other dimension that I have is the overall height so I can click here choose the bottom surface and this overall height must be 100 millimeter okay and finally last piece of information I know the distance from the side wall to this wall should be 50 millimeters so I'm gonna choose 50 and as you can see when we applied all the dimensions now the geometry is fully defined which means that we are good to go we can use extruded boss feature to make the final geometry okay so to use extruded boss feature again like always we can click on feature go to extruded boss and now because last time we chose mid plane type extrusion this time we also have mid plane and you can see that we have this sort of symmetric extrusion now we know that we want this geometry to be extruded up to this surface so to do this there are two options basically first one is that I know that the overall width is 200 millimeter so what I can do instead of this number I can put 200 millimeter and you can see if I enter basically the geometry will be extruded up to this surface but there is another easy approach as well you can click on mid plane and then choose up to surface when you choose up to surface you can define the final surface that you want the, your geometry to be extruded to so in this case I click on this surface 
and you can see the geometry will be extruded to this surface and I don't need to define the overall lengths and because I want this extrusion to happen on the other side as well here I can click on direction 2 then from drop down menu choose up to surface and then this time I'm going to choose this surface and then click on OK and that's it so that's the final geometry that we are looking for now it's time to check the overall volume and then make sure that we have the correct answer so let's check out the total volume in the question in the question as you can see the total volume is 2,928,250 cubic millimeter so let's check this number and make sure that we are having the correct answer to do this like always click on mass properties and here we have the total volume as you can see the total volume is 2,928,000 250 cubic millimeters which is exactly the same as what we've seen in a question so our modeling is correct and we found the correct answer okay that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any feedback or question please leave a comment down below thanks again for watching my name is Ruzbe. hope to see you again soon in next videos